Everything fits with the screen here, nice and pretty, all good. And I've got the no locks from Phil, the no locks guy. I got his little solution here. This thing that goes here on the door, on the lock, so it blocks the lock from uh, locking the door, locking yourself out. And I've got a little handle here that I'm going to install right up top. So that is, that's what I'll pull on that handle instead of pulling on this to make the door better. So join me. All right, the first step is we've got to remove a little rubber cap here and you position the no locks against it when it's completely open and flat like that. Take a little scribe or a punch, mark a spot right here in the middle. I can see my little punch spot and that's where I'm going to drill my hole. Now we got to remove plate but this is your lock so that keeps this thing from moving but the plate when you turn the handle it pushes this mechanism up which pushes that up which unlocks the door so that's how it all works now i'm drilling a pilot hole with my 1 8 inch bit So we'll go up a notch to the 7.30 seconds bit. All right, now I'm going to assemble this mechanism with a little bit of Loctite on the screw. Lost my thought, I think it was in bold. I think it's just a thought that wasn't meant to be told. I grew out of my life. Right, the other items that come with this are these things here. So these are to strengthen this plate so your door handle doesn't wobble. So the things you need for this project are a 10 30 seconds tap from a tap and die set. So basically what's going to happen is I'm going to create a space for this screw to screw into that. Create the threads. Now I'm going to check my screw. It fits. So now you take this big washer and put over that. And you take the, or the big open washer and you take a small open washer and put it over this one. And then you put your screw. Tighten that down. So over time, if you've had an Airstream for a while and you pull on this handle, it gets wobbly right here. That prevents that from happening. But I'm also going to put my little drawer handle. I just went to Home Depot and found this one. Three inches long. So I'm going to put it right up top here. But what I have to be mindful of is I need space to get my hand in here to open this. These will have to clear this on the back side, meaning a little slot here and a little slot there. And then this handle will be right there on top. And that'll be the handle I use to close the drawer with. All right, so I've marked my two holes with a punch. Sorry my battery died and I didn't get to record that, but now I'm going to drill that out. Now this handle did not come with washers, so I'm going to get some washers and put on the back side. Once I see how far the screw's in. So there's the handle. I gotta find some shorter screws because these are way too long, but um, that'll be where it's at. Looks like that, looks pretty good. I got me some shorter screws here with a little lock washer. I have reinstalled this. Looks pretty good, let's go put it back on the rig. I also wanna thank Phil, the no locks guy. Uh, he provides excellent instructions. Come with all the things he sends out. Okay, putting this back together, you have to line this part here on the handle with that right there. So put that in. 
So you come over your lock and tighten my screws back in. Now they're all tight, I can see that the door handle works. Now I've got a shave down part of this so I can actually lock it. You also have to shave down a little bit of this rubber grommet here so that it fits over. It doesn't interfere. I think this one might be okay though. Some of them are extra, extra long. This one feels pretty good. So it's a little bit tight. I'm going to shave down just a hair. So now I can lock it and unlock it, no problem. Works pretty good. Now the door handle. Let me check it against the screen. Everything fits with the screen here. Nice and pretty. All good. Mm -hmm.